so first of all uh, introduce yourself uh, uh, sir uh, my name is arjun p uh, i am from kolikoda of kerala uh, my educational background is uh, i am basically a civil engineer uh, i have completed my btech in civil engineering from college of engineering tiruvannamuram i also completed uh, post graduation in amman pani okay and uh, today you want snap for soil mechanics and foundation part as you have interview in cochin shipyard right yes sir okay fine so can you tell me what is this isolated foundation uh isolated foundation when uh, for every column there will be one footing so that uh, to transfer the load it will be uh, single okay can you tell me what is the difference between footing and foundation is there any difference or both are the same what do you think uh it's actually different like uh, in foundation we will be transferring the load to a greater depth whereas in uh, footing we will be keeping the footing above the uh, on top of the earth and uh, it is footing can be considered as a shallow foundation also okay fine So can you tell me uh, what is the minimum depth of footing? Fifty centimeter. Sorry. Fifty centimeter. Fifty centimeter. Okay. Uh, how in case of uh, shallow foundation the load is being transferred to the soil? Shallow foundation uh, through the direct contact uh, through the soil. Like footing will be on top of the soil. So it will be transferring through the through that one. And suppose if we are talking about the pile foundation, then how load is being transferred to the soil? Pile uh, through pile in pile foundation, uh, through a uh, end bearing or the spring piston. The these are the two uh, methods the load is transferring. Okay, so uh, can you uh, just uh, modify your answer right now? Uh, as in case of uh, shallow foundation, what do you think? We have the friction action or this uh, end bearing action. There won't be any friction action. It will be through the uh, base of the foundation that is the uh, end bear. Okay, fine. Okay, so what is this permeability of soil? Uh, permeability uh, is actually a property of soil in which uh, the soil will allow allow to allow water to water or any other fluid to pass through it okay so what do you think uh, if the soil is uh, more permeable then having more strength or less permeable having more strength uh, more permeable more strength more permeable more strength can you give me example uh, like in the case of a gravel uh, it is uh, having a uh, the voids are actually uh, very higher in case of gravel uh, sorry not uh, i mean uh, the permeability is higher in uh, gravel so uh, gravel is having a higher strength uh, strength than that of clay uh, okay can you tell me uh, how can we calculate this uh, coefficient of permeability or permeability value of soil uh, it can be calculated from uh, darcy equation darcy like, equation no I, i i just want to know the methods uh, there are uh, uh, falling head method method is there hmm uh yeah on constant head method constant head method falling head method uh then in the uh, field there will be uh, pipe pipe uh, in method pipe out method pipe in a pumping in pumping in sir pumping in and out and what do you think suppose if we talk about the field method pumping in method and pumping out method which one gives us more accurate results uh, i think pumping out method will give the more accurate okay fine you must heard about confined aquifer yes sir uh, can you define what it means confined aquifer uh, in confined aquifer water will be trapped inside a, a semi permeable membrane 
can you repeat again arjun uh, in a confined aquifer water will be trapped inside a uh, permeable uh, uh, non permeable membrane okay if you have paper pen can you just uh, draw this uh, confined aquifer location okay sir. Can you see it? Yeah, just uh, okay, but okay. Yes, just hold on. Let me know the bottom uh, which layer you mentioned, as it is not very clear uh, to me. At the bottom, I mean, what do you draw? The... It will be better off. Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. Okay, so can you define, Arjun, what is this effective stress? Uh, if a T stress is actually, uh, it is a parameter we, we used it to uh, measure the strength of the soil grain. It is a resistance uh, offered by the soil grains against the load or distress is, is coming on top of it. Okay. Uh, you must heard about liquefaction. Yes, sir. So can you define what is liquefaction? Uh, I think uh, it is actually the when uh, the soil uh, loses its strength. Uh, I, uh, I'm not sure, sir. Okay, if we talk about the soil strength, so what do you mean? What kind of strength we are talking about? I mean uh, the uh, strength the soil grains can carry. That is fine, but uh, what type of strength? Uh, like yeah, effective strength. Effective strength, okay. Shear strength. Shear strength, yeah, right. Shear strength. Now, can you tell me from where the soil derives its shear strength? Kahan se aata hai soil ke from where soil is uh, deriving its shear strength? Uh, what are the things in the soil mass that is basically uh, giving the strength to our soil mass? For coarse soil. It will be coercion. Okay. And uh, for co coarse soil, there will be coercion. Mm -hmm. Then uh, for uh, sands, there will be intermolecular attraction. Okay, fine. Now we have two things generally C and phi. Yeah. Clear? Yes. Can you tell me how can we calculate C and phi? If C and phi are known to us, so we can easily calculate the bearing. Capacity of the soil also. Yes, sir. Hey, are you asking for the formula? No, I'm just. I want to know the methods from where we are just getting the value of C and phi. How to find C and phi? test? Are you getting my question, Arjun? Uh, sir, you asked uh, how to find the C and phi, right? Yes, yes. How can we calculate the C and phi? That is the I want to know the name of the test. I'm not sure, sir. Okay, fine. Uh, suppose uh, we have the term uh, this dry unit weight or dry density, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So first of all, I want to know what it represents. Dry unit weight. Yeah. Uh, it is actually the unit weight of uh, uh, soil in dry condition. Okay. If we want to know this kind of the physical significance term, then how can you define this? What is this gamma D or OD? Uh, it's actually weight of the soil by uh, unit volume. Okay, fine. Okay, uh, my question was uh, this one. Uh, suppose uh, you are working 
as an highway engineer. Okay. Yeah, as a highway engineer working, and you have to check the soil bed. That is a subgrade, whether it is compacted or not. So, how will you check that compaction? Uh, we can perform Any idea method? CBR test. CBR. Yes. But CBR uh, is uh, just uh, so test performing the lab, no? Uh, plate load test. Plate load test. Now, suppose you have a, a 100 meter length bed, 20 meter width bed. So there are the 10 bed in a day. So how can you perform the plate load test on each bed? Uh, we can perform a standard construction test. SPT. SPT. Okay. So can you define, uh, let me know first of all, uh, what is the purpose of doing CBR test? Plate load test? Uh, I think CBR test is to, uh, we will be having a, uh, a standard data uh, for the uh, load and uh, we'll be comparing this standard data with the field conditions. Can you tell me uh, what is the application of this plate load test? Uh, it's actually to uh, find out the safe bearing capacity of the uh, soil. Safe bearing capacity of the soil. Bearing capacity of the soil, generally. Bearing capacity of the soil. Can you tell me at what level generally we are conducting this plate load test? Yeah, so usually uh, we will be digging out the, the uh, depth of the foundation. Suppose what, if the depth of the foundation... Is, yes, now we are saying we are just going to calculate the SBC of the soil. Suppose if SBC is still unknown to us, then how can we predict where we have to place the foundation? This should be the depth of foundation. We don't know the safe bearing capacity or bearing capacity of the soil. Then how can we decide this should be the depth of the foundation? First of all, we no, have we to cannot. calculate. Huh? Yes, sir. I don't know, sir. Okay, SPT, standard penetration test. Uh, in uh, standard penetration test, uh, we will be uh, uh, penetrating a needle and we will be up applying a hammering uh, action. What is and the name of needle? What is the name of needle? I don't know. Sir. That is the basically sample collection uh, thing that is extremely important. Sampling tube, we are just saying this one, but there is a specific name given to it. Okay, can you tell me what is the weight of a hammer that generally we fall? Sorry, but I don't know. Okay, can you define the SPT number? Last question, SPT number. Uh, sorry, sir. Okay, so Arjun, uh, can I repeat the question or just finish here? Uh, SPT number, you have? Yeah, yeah. Can you define SPT number? Uh, it's actually uh, the uh, number of flows of this hammer action required to penetrate to for a 300 mm. What do we have to penetrate? Needle. Okay. So Arjun, I'm giving you here feedback. Yeah. So although initially you set the footing and foundation, that are the thing, basically no issue with that one. 50 centimeter is the minimum depth of the footing as per IS 456. Permeability, I'm okay with your permeability answer. Permeability property of soil, which allows passage of water through its interconnected voids. Okay. Don't forget the word interconnected voids. Okay. Okay. Uh, how to calculate this coefficient of permeability? So many methods are there. As you told, constant head method, falling head method that are basically lab tests. If we are talking about the field test, pumping in method, pumping out method. Again, I'm okay with your answer. Pumping out method uh, are giving us a more accurate result. Okay. As compared to pumping. I'm okay with your answer. That Confined aquifer, that is also okay. And uh, liquefaction. This is the extremely important uh, interview question many a time asked from the students. Liquefaction is what is happening. Liquefaction when the effective stresses in soil reduces to zero. 
effective stress is effective stress is soil in reduces to zero meaning to say that we know very well if you are talking about the shear strength of the soil then we have the equation c plus sigma tan phi or in term of effective stress c prime plus sigma prime tan phi Okay. Effective for has an effective angle of friction and effective stress. So yes. this, listen carefully. Liquefaction occurs generally in cohesionless soils. Okay. Now see, if we are talking about cohesionless soil, then definitely C will be zero. Yes. Okay. Now we have yes. the equation tau equal to sigma prime into tan phi, like that one. If effective stress reduces to zero, how effective stress reduces to zero? Generally, what is happening? The pore water pressure rises. Pore water pressure suddenly rises due to the earthquake movement or dynamic loading, or is there any construction activity nearby to the recently filled area or nearby to the area where groundwater level is very high to the ground surface? What is happening? The soil reduces its strength almost equal to zero. It behaves like liquid. So whatever structure casted on that particular soil, it sinks down. Okay. Okay. If you check the case study in Japan, there was a parking lot. All the vehicles were settled into the ground. That is the case of the liquefaction. Okay. 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 Here strength. Soil derives its strength from where? So answer is interlocking particle to particle ke beech mein. The bond over interlocking, one is interlocking, angle of internal friction, cohesion. Three things are there. Okay. Now think yourself, if we have the perfectly rounded aggregate, and some cases, second case, we have the uh, angular particle. So what do you think? In which case the bond is higher? Uh, angular shape. Angular, definitely angular. Then interlocking also plays an important part. Angular meaning to say that irregular shape. So if we have all sizes of particle available in a soil mass, that will offer a higher strength as compared to a soil mass containing most of sizes of the same particle. Yes. Fine. So, so yes. I'm okay uh, with your answer. There is a cohesion and angle of interfriction phi. So how to calculate the C and phi? We have direct shear test. You must heard about direct shear test. Yes, sir. Triaxial test. Yes. Modification of triaxial is your unconfined compression strength test. Yes, and when shear test. Okay. So this when okay. shear test generally it can be uh, performed in lab as well as in field. Okay. Okay, and I I want to know what is gamma d rho d. Although you give me definition, that is okay. But physical significance, what this dry density or dry unit weight representing? They represent the denseness of the denseness of the soil. They represent the denseness of the soil. Yes. Okay, denseness. It means how the soil particles are compacted. Okay. Okay, if the soil particles are very close to each other, it means voids will be less and soil mass will be more compacted. Yes. So in field, generally, we are checking the degree of denseness or compactness of the soil mass. We are doing the SRM, sand replacement method. Have you heard about this one? Yeah, sand replacement. So with the help of sand replacement method, we are just calculating the bulk density or bulk unit weight. Yes. And we are applying a relation is rho d equals to rho bulk upon 1 plus w. You must heard about this relation. Yes, sir. Okay. So we are just calculating the water yes. content on site with the help of rapid motion meter. We are doing this calculation, applying the formula. So we are getting the value of the dry density of the soil, dry unit weight of the soil. If more uh, dry density or dry unit weight we are achieving, it means the soils are more densified. If this value is low, then the soil density is low. Or less. Uh, rapid motion method. Uh, it, it is for calculation of the water content, okay. which is also known as the calcium carbide method. Okay. 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 Although sand bath method is also there if you're talking about the field method. Okay. okay. So anything else you want to know, uh, Arjun? Uh, 
uh, sir, uh, what all area should improve in Kolkata? Mm, uh, the I think uh, if I rate you out of five, Arjun, so initial thing uh, starting three to four questions, you give me answer. I, I was completely satisfied. But after that, uh, you are just uh, looking into the bushes. Okay. So that will be a problem to you. So here I am again giving you just close to three and a half. It is not exactly three and a half. Okay. This is just like your 3.4, 3.42, like that one. Meaning to say that you have to work in the section like test on the soil mass. Extremely important for direct shear test, triaxial test, vein shear test. This is for the calculation of C and phi. Okay. Fine. And along with it, what is liquefaction, what is frost heat, what is frost boil, these are the things that practically we have and most of the time were asked in the interviews. Okay. Okay. Even I didn't ask about the, any question from the ground improvement. Okay. And we have also a chapter in the soil mechanics. Yes. So have a look on that one. So I think Arjun, uh, there is the next candidate. So anything else you want to ask? Uh, sir, is the uh, IS code is important. Sorry? IS code, na uh, yes, name sir. of IS, IS code. IS uh, 2720. 2720. Yes, yes. This is basically for the tests uh, on the soil, all type of tests generally confirming to this IS code. Uh, sir, is there any uh, practical uh, questions that I could ask? Yes, like yes, yes. This is just like CBR. From the CBR test, from the plate load test, from the SPT test. Okay, okay. Fine. And okay, sir. Uh, then, uh, one more thing, uh, sir. Uh, in general, what all subjects should I prepare for for CPI? Mm, see, soil mechanics foundation. This okay. is on the top priority. RCC, okay. highway, environment, and basic knowledge of the strength of material fluid mechanics. Okay. What role uh, you, uh, you are getting there? Any idea? Sorry, sir. What? what role you are getting there in this uh, organization, coaching shipyard? Uh, executive training. Okay, that is fine, executive training. But in what department? Any uh, specific work location that you have to work in that area? I don't know, sir. They haven't given anything like that. Okay, then, then go with the basics. Okay. Again, strength of material, fluid mechanics, basis. Okay. And uh, your environment, highway, soil, RCC. Okay. Okay. Sir, what about structure and structure analysis? Yes, yes. Go with the basic thing. He yes, he will yes. just relate it with the RCC. Okay. If you are if you are doing designing, definitely you know very well about the central material and the structure analysis. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, Arjun. So thank you very much.